the IndyCar steering wheel is essentially most all of the controls we have in the cockpit. Um, all of the drivers, at least within Chip Ganassi Racing, have a little different setup personalized for themselves. Uh, most of that comes down to what, what's displayed on the message center as well as these big displays. Uh, but the main buttons that we use here at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway on the oval, uh, the pit lane speed limiter limits the car to 60 miles an hour for driving down pit lane. Uh, the radio button to talk to the team. The two weight jacker buttons, the, you can shift weight to the right to slow the car turning or to the left to help it turn. The fuel reset button clears any of the alarms on the dash as well as resetting the fuel count during the race. The, there are three pages that I look at, the practice page, the start page, and the race page. Typically during a race, I'm on the race page the whole time. Um, on the oval, we don't run a reverse. The neutral button knocks the car into neutral coming into the pit box, and then we don't have the overtake uh, for the oval races. For the road and street circuits, that's pretty important during the races. And then for a drink button, I actually don't use a powered pump for the drink bottle. I have a bite valve in my helmet so that when I want it, I can just suck on it like a long straw. Uh, so it's not powered at all. And then the rotary position, a lot of people, my friends have asked me, they're listening to my in-car radio, they're hearing wheel one, wheel two, wheel eight, and those are different engine settings that are set by Honda that changes how the engine works. Sometimes it's fueling, sometimes it's ignition, sometimes it's boost, sometimes it's just, if a sensor fails, there's a fail safe in there. Um, so I use that. And then on the dash itself, on the actual steering uh, message display, the center unit here shows me my gear. So I can keep track of what gear I'm in. These lights come together as I accelerate and tell me when to shift. The four lights in the corners and four along the bottom each have a different meaning for a different alarm. All of them come on when I'm on the pit lane speed limiter. Some come on the yellow light flashes when the track goes yellow, things like that. Uh, and then the main display is where I get a lot of my information. On the left, I have the front and rear anti-roll bars um, so that I know where the tools are set in the car the weight jacker position. So as I change this uh, and shift cross weight in the car, it shows up on the dash. Then I have miles per gallon, so I know what sort of fuel mileage I'm getting. And then something that's very unique to me, my last number along here is my blood sugar. I wear a Dexcom continuous glucose monitor. So I have a sensor on my body and it transmits to a receiver. Now that receiver is plugged into the car, into the data system. So not only does my blood glucose number come up here on my steering wheel, but it's transmitted via telemetry radio back to the pit lane. So my engineers that are keeping track of fuel level and oil pressure, tire pressure, keeping track of my body data as well. And then these last two, I have average lap speed here and then fuel count. So during the race, I'll keep track of what speed I'm doing each lap. And then the bottom message, I keep track of how far into a, a fuel stint I am. So as that number counts up towards 18 and a half, I know if I'm at about nine gallons burn, I'm about halfway through the tire life. 